Another news, in case you missed it, one third of young U.S. adults are too fat to join the military. That's nothing new, but uh, one thing I'll say: the military has also seen a 61 percent rise in obesity since 2002 among its active duty forces, driving up obesity-related health care spending and costs to replace unfit military personnel. So. Uh, that's from Associated Press, 61% rise in obesity in the military. Another example, Chris, when I got into basic training, I was shocked there was fat people in basic. I didn't know they let fat people in the Army. But again, yep. if you haven't been in, you haven't seen these fat people. There is a lot of fat people in the Army that are lazy, whining, complaining Americans, and they stay there to get the paycheck, and they are just as garbage as the guy who's not in the military. And yeah, and, it, and even the ones that are in, I mean, I knew a lot of uh, – uh, a lot of guys who are way over the limits of what the Marine Corps set, but because they're at a certain level and because they don't have enough people to fill it off, they don't hold them to any standard anymore. So, I mean, there was guys that were le- legitimately obese uh, in, you know, in their camis, they look like a big green ball coming down the, the, the road. Um, and they, they were able to just let that go. And I'm sure it's worse than, you know, the army and, and uh, the Navy too, but, um, you know, there, there's a lot of like fat people. And when I was looking for uh, a video clip, I was trying to look for something for the slave police video that I was doing, you know, showing the, uh, the dichotomy of like the police that used to protect and serve, you know, back in the forties and fifties, the sheriffs, the peace officers. Mm-hmm. Uh, so I ended up finding some Andy Griffith, uh, you know, video clip <laughs> that I needed to contrast it with, you know, the no knock, uh, you know, SWAT team, shoot your dog, uh, type stuff that we have now. This, uh, you know, to brutalize and exploit, uh, mentality that's in the, the police state now. Um, but it was funny as I was going through the Andy Griffith, uh, uh, uh videos, I saw one clip of, uh, the, the whole family sitting down and the mother said, you know, okay, anybody want some apple pie? And the whole family, starting with the little son says, no, thank you. I don't want any apple pie. And then the mother goes to the Andy Griffith. He says, you know, do you want some? He's like, no, I'll have one more bite of this meatloaf, but I'm, I'm not going to have any of that apple pie. And then he goes to, to the Gomer Pyle guy, or I forget his name. You know, do you want, uh, you're not going to let me down. He's like, no, no, no. I'm, I, I, if I want to stay this thin, I got to, I got to stay away from carbohydrates and glucose. And so I was like, oh, that's weird. And then she goes, she goes, you know, uh, she goes, well, you know, I certainly don't need any either. And he goes, yeah, I don't want that carbohydrates and glucose. He said it the same, second time. I mean, these are like medical terms in a 1950s thing. Like, you know, he didn't just say, you know, I got to stay away from pie. He specifically said, uh, you know, carbohydrates and glucose, which are the two big things. And then for a third time, he says, well, if you want to stay away from carbohydrates and glucose, um, you know, the, this bread and sugar, and that's what's in our diet, and that's what's making us fat. It's not, you know, uh, you know, fat, you know, the, the fat free stuff or whatever. It, it's the amount of sugar in our diets that are causing this obesity. Um, and it's, and the worst part is this medical industrial complex that's been built up off of this, uh, you know, total sickening of our society, our diet, our minds. I mean, they're just, they're trying to make us weak, pathetic, low common denominator people mm-hmm. uh, who who uh, cannot fend for themselves. They don't have the mind to do it. They don't have the physical aptitude to do it. Um, and they're more easily controlled, more likely to accept collectivism, uh, which is more likely to be run by psychopaths. Uh, this medical industrial complex, you know, there's billions of dollars and then Obamacare. You know, we have this oh, uh, epidemic. I mean, 75% of men are overweight or obese. 65% of women are overweight and obese. I mean, this is an epidemic. If it's if it's more than half, I mean, I don't know the what else. Child to call statistics it. are even more shocking. <laughs> worse. And child diabetes. I mean, this terrifies me. The the, the health stuff. I mean, yeah. that does scare me. And they treat diabetes like oh, it's a mysterious disease. Meanwhile, if you listen to Andy Griffiths 50 years ago, stay away from carbohydrates and sugar. You won't have a diabetic shock problem. 